Daiso Japan has new arrivals, and we are excited to show you what they have in stock. If you are looking for the latest bargain deal to improve your living space, then guess what? You're in for a treat. Let's go. Daiso Japan is known for its vast array of unique and affordable products. For those who are new here, Daiso Japan is one of the many 100 yen stores here in Japan, and it could be considered Japan's version of a dollar store. Daiso Japan develops and releases about 1,000 new products every month. Daiso is not your typical dollar store. They produce high quality products that are made in Japan. Majority of their products range from 100 yen to around 300 yen before tax. However, there are some special items that go up to like 400, 500 yen to around 1000 yen. However, typically you do not find products inside of Daiso that goes beyond 1000 yen. And this is all before tax rates. As we get into this video, remember that anything that doesn't have a price tag is 100 yen. If it is above 100 yen, there will be a price listed. Today, we'll introduce you to some of the newest products that are in store that you may find to be useful in your daily life. First up are these candle holders. They are always in stock here at Daiso, but there are a few designs that are fresh on these shelves. The crown shape candle holder is rather new here. And there are also a few others that we're gonna show you that are new here. Uh, these candle holders are very sturdy, very durable, and are made from very thick or dense glass. So you don't have to worry, they will not break that easily. These candle holders are all 100 yen, and are better suited for flat small candles like scented candles that are small and flat so keep that in mind it might not be the best suited suitable candle holder for like longer or standing candles these star shaped candle holders are actually pretty new and they're the ones we're mostly focusing on the crown shape the star shape and also next to it are some heart shaped candle holders and those are actually pretty new design once again the ones we've shown so far are all 100 yen keep in mind that you can also get the scented candles that fit into these candle holders here at Daiso they're always around and they come in like a few scents like lavender uh, citrus and then like regular candle this candle holder here is pretty new as well. It has a little platform on it that makes it a little higher or more rise than the ones before. And this one is 200 yen. Now these candle holders here are a bit more deeper than the ones that we showed before. Meaning when you put the small candles inside of them, the glass and the pattern on the glass outside of the candle holders will you know, illuminate the light of the candle from inside. So if you're looking for, you know, a different feel when you light your candle, um, especially if it's not a scented candle, you might want just the lighting from the candle. Um, these ones are a great option because they go, the candle goes deep inside and then illuminates a pattern. Now these are the scented candles that I mentioned prior that fit into these candle holders. The next item that we found were these fondue pots. They cost 300 yen before taxes and of course 330 afterwards. And they can work well for both cheese fondue and chocolate fondue. They come in two different colors. They have white and brown. So be sure to check the packaging at the back to see which of the colors you are actually buying. I think these are useful as they could be a great addition to your weekend dinners. Now keep in mind that these are small fondue pots so it's better suited for you know a small meal with one or two people. Right next to these fondue pots were these heat resistance glass teapots. 
They cost 500 yen and comes with a really nice tea strainer, which is good for infusing tea bags and so on. I was especially impressed with the design, you know, the glass design of it. It looks very sleek and cool. It holds about 450 milliliters in total, and it is definitely not microwave friendly. It has a wide opening and you can remove the strainer which makes it so much more easier to clean. The next new item that we found at Daiso were these, you know, collection of dessert dishes. So the ones that caught our attention the most were these ones that came with like a collection of animal designs on it. Each one of these dessert dishes cost 100 yen and they are not heavy in weight but the material does feel sturdy. Next, we found these, this collection of, you know, dishes that ranges in different styles, shapes, and sizes. These brown dishes are on the heavier side and are for 200 yen. They come with, you know, a few other matching pieces that are of similar color and similar make. These pieces of the set are 100 yen because as I mentioned before, if there isn't a price tag, then it is 100 yen. So all of the dishes that you're seeing um, right now are a part of the newest addition to the tableware section of Daiso. And I do think that they are pretty sturdy. Um, this one um, specifically is really, really heavy, meaning that if you happen to drop one or they fall, you don't have to worry too much about them shattering. Dishes ranges in prices and size, as I mentioned from before. Um, these ones are rather new as well. I don't know if the lighting is doing justice to the color, but the color is somehow beige. And I like the shape and build of them. I like how they feel in my hand. We also found these condiment jars that I thought were pretty cool. So they come in two variations, which is the sugar condiment jar and the salt condiment jar. So the pink boxes have the sugar and the blue boxes have the salt jar. The jars are made of ceramics and they come with a lid and that lid comes with a holder for the spoon, which is also included in the package. They are 300 yen um, per piece. The lid colors are also different, so it will be easier for you to differentiate them if you decide to buy both of them. The sugar jar has a silver or gray lid with the spoon, while the salt jar has brown attachments. They measure about 400 milliliters, and I think they would be such a good addition to your kitchen. Next on our new arrivals list is this index cutting board for 500 yen. An index cutting board is basically a chopping board set that features separate boards for different food prep tasks. And they are all stored in a stylish case. So each board is color coded and finished with an illustration tab to show the food types they should be used with. This is to prevent cross-contamination and improve hygiene. 
the case is a standing case and could be easily placed on a counter, you know, in a cupboard or anywhere standing up. This set comes in three colors, red, light green, and uh, like sky blue, like an ocean blue. They also have a smaller index cutting board set that is for 200 yen that also comes with three different color coded section white blue and black and it's also for vegetables fish and meat actually that is 300 yen it's for 300 yen The other new items that we found were these small kitchen scales. This one can hold up to one kilogram in weight and it costs 100 yen. They come in two colors, both navy blue and army green. They are basically an analog setup so you push the weight down and then like a clock you know a meter turns to show what weight it is so as I said before navy blue and an army green color they also have this white digital kitchen scale that can hold up to three kilograms and is on the more expensive side because it goes for 1,000 yen and this one is said to be just a little bit more you know modern over in the kitchen tools section, we found a variety of vegetable cutters and mixers. These cutters comes in varied features, styles, and prices. This one specifically comes with two separate blades. It is both capable of cutting vegetables and mixing them together. A point to note is that these cutters are not electrical. They are all manual, so you'll have to manually pull on a, a section. You pull it, and when you pull, it's like a, a pulley. If you've ever like seen like a lawnmower, you pull on like that string, and then that activates the blade to you know spin and does the chopping. So this is a very manual cutter so this cutter that has the two features the cutting and the mixing is actually 500 yen they also have a smaller one that does only the, the cutting or the chopping and that one goes for 300 yen For 400 yen, you can get this grater that comes with four different grating or cutting features. It has the grater section, the slicer, free cutter, and a thick cutter feature. It's a storable grater, so you can actually pull the pieces apart and store them together or store them separately or just in a way that can conveniently fit in whatever space that you need to put them in. is also a grater but this one comes with five features and cost 400 yen as well the additional feature on this is a lemon squeezer here we have a three-way spiral cutter for 200 yen this one is great for carrots cucumbers and so on This 
here is the smaller vegetable cutter that I had mentioned earlier that goes for 300 yen. So this one only comes with one blade and it's still manual as the other one from before. It only comes with one blade and can only do chopping and no mixing. It is smaller in size so if you're concerned about storage and don't really need the mixing feature then you can use this one. We found this one-handed spice mill and we almost missed it while browsing the shelves. It costs 500 yen and grinds spices by simply pressing the top of the, the grinder. There's a button on the top that you simply just press and it's kind of like when you somewhat like when you press a pen and then the pressing motion causes the, pe the grinder to grind the spices. Here we have a collapsible hanging trash can for 300 yen. You are supposed to hang it on the door that is right below the sink in the kitchen. And this is collapsible. So the point is that once you're finished cooking or prepping, you, you can just press it together. That's because it's made of silicone material. So once you're done using it, you can just press it together and then easily and conveniently store it away until the next use. We also found this milk frother that is perfect for when you're making, you know, a homemade cup of cappuccino. It is battery operated and comes with a stand that, you know, it will allow you to basically place your mixer down in between uses where you don't have to put it on a counter and so on. It seems to be pretty handy, but it only comes in the color white. While we're talking about homemade coffee, Daiso has this small coffee grinder for 500 yen. It can grind up to five different coffee sizes and it is manually operated. Basically, you would have to turn the handle that is at the top of the grinder in a circular motion in order to grind the coffee. And you'll keep turning it until the coffee is at the size that you desire. With summer coming up, Daiso has updated their summer collection. And so we have this manual shaved ice machine. Shaved ice is a very popular summer treat here in Japan and this machine just makes sense. It costs 500 yen and it operates in the same way like the coffee grinder that I showed you before. little dustbins made the cut simply because they were just cute. They are 100 yen each for the set and they come in two colors which is pink and blue. April is the start of the new school year in Japan and so of course we expect that the stationery section would also receive an update. These fruit and vegetable themed pencil cases have been the newest trend here in Japan. And so we just had to, you know, add them to the lineup of the new releases here in Japan. They are 
pretty cute and that's the number one thing about them and you know students and even adults alike are you know going for these ones a lot because you know they can get their favorite fruit or their favorite vegetable inside of them are pretty spacious and although they are pencil cases you don't have to limit the use of these little cases to just holding pencils or stationery These Disney themed clocks, wall clocks, are also new on the list of, you know, new arrivals. They cost 500 yen. Over in the electronic sections, we found these wireless charger mouse pads. So basically, it's a mouse pad that has a little section there that you can, you know, plug and charge your phone for those who have like the MagSafe charging option. And this one is pretty new and we thought this might be a cool addition to, you know, your daily life. Sanrio characters are one of the newest raves here in Japan and, you know, a few other places in the world. And we found these brand new Sanrio character storage baskets and they are really, really cool. They're spacious inside and... You can use them for a variety of storage purposes and you must admit that these would just look good in almost any spaces. So they have different varieties, different colors and different featured characters on these storage baskets. And guess what? We have come to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Are there any of these products that you are just dying to rush on down to Daiso and get? Because surely I got a few things for myself while I was there. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.